What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got an absolutely awesome duel for you guys to check out. Well, it's not going to be awesome for the guy down here at the bottom. Actually, let's go ahead and flip him at the top. And um, I always take great pleasure in watching extra link boards get broken, whether it's through things like Cyber Dragon, Ross Spear Mode. You can use Kaijus to break those evenly, match, etc. etc. I just feel like the extra link is something that shouldn't exist. And when it comes crumbling down, I'm always happy because a lot of times the players who extra link have used all all their resources into that one play and it's kind of just uh it's a little ridiculous shouldn't have been a real thing and you can see down here at the bottom it looks like it could be maybe a metapho cyber dragon variant he has a couple of ways of breaking it but this is going to be one of the best ways i have ever seen someone break an extra link in my life so at the top i'm not sure what exactly this deck is it looks like he's actually playing goki danger sky striker he's like <laughs> he's like you know what cap aren't the best decks in the game right Right now like danger dark world goki and sky striker it's like i took all three of them made it into one deck and by that concept like it has to be tier zero because all of those are the best decks that's what i think he did but i don't really need to say much more because you have you can obviously see he has i sold and the other like danger cards and you know the sky striker cards aren't even really gonna matter when you can just go i sold and then you can kind of instantly be able to get to your Gokis. From there, you're probably going to get to like a Goki rematch at some point. Once you get Goki rematch, it is off to the races because at that point, you should be able to get the Firewall Dragon. Or actually, no, looks like he is using the danger part of the deck and now he has Firewall Dragon. And it was looking a little weird at first because I was like, I don't, I don't know about this looking kind of Kappa, but don't worry, he actually is going to 100% get there. And I really thought that he was just kind of a noob. I was like, dude, this is not, why is he summoning Ib and all of these other cards? He He's probably going to end on a really crappy extra link that doesn't have, you know, like Trigate Wizard. But nope, he ended up summoning the Trigate Wizard. And, you know, he has the link Karibo. I thought that he also just wouldn't have Gumblar Dragon. But he actually is going to get the Gumblar Dragon too. There's the Gumblar Dragon. There's a couple of cards out of his opponent's hand, and you can see that that is a full-on extra link, or both of the extra monster zones have been taken out. He has the Trigate Wizard equipped with a couple of cards, and he did actually take a couple of cards out of his opponent's hand. His opponent did lose the Kaiju, which was unfortunate, because that would have been one of the ways to potentially break the extra link, but he still has the Cyber Dragon, so let's see exactly what's going to happen here. Going to summon that Cyber Dragon, going to contact Fuse, so two of the cards automatically are gone. Not bad. He's going to attack into the trigate wizard because his cyber his mega fleet dragon was uh you know it was used with three materials so it is 3000 attack one of the reasons cyber dragon is so popular right now not just as a deck but as just a card because it can do things like that then this is really cool he's going to activate metaphos go driver and he's going to actually pop his own card and what he's going to do is he's actually going to activate the effect of mound of the bound creator since it was destroyed by a card effect it means he gets to get a divine monster from his deck you guys know what that means. It's time for that spear mode. Break my board. Your board has been absolutely obliterated. He lost his entire extra link to two plays right there. And then he says, you know what? I'm not even done, Cap. Adding insult to injury. This man actually does play the Winged Dragon of Ra. So he is summoning Ra and that 7,000 damage on board. GG, no re. That's actually a really cute interaction playing the Metaphos in conjunction with Mount of the Bound Creator because obviously like Wing Dragon Ross Spirit Mode is stupid going second but if you have a way of searching it it's even more ridiculous because if your opponent extra links you just have an instant way of breaking their extra link and then when your Wing Dragon Ross Spirit Mode comes back to you you can probably just summon your Ron that's a 4,000 attacker on board in addition to that and also this rod just blows up cards on your opponent's side of the field so if they happen to have any monsters because they'll say they didn't link it away you can still just you know pop their monsters and even if they do link it away you're still just kind of ahead at that point. They've used all their resources. They probably don't even have anything good in their extra deck, you know, because they've already used a lot of their nightmares. So I think that that was just kind of fun. Let me pause for one quick second and show you guys with this divine build of, uh, well, do we call this like cyber dragons or metaphos or whatever? Let's just see what the deck looks like. Okay, so this is what the deck looks like on paper. Not gonna lie, I like it. There is a, <laughs> there's definitely a lot of simplicity going on. And 
and um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this deck is supposed to do one thing and one thing only, and that is break your opponent's board. <laughs> you see that there are no, there's no like real practical monsters. I think the only monster you can really normal summon in this deck would be Gold Driver, right? Like it's the only just monster you just throw on the field as a normal summon monster. Everything else is, you know, basically contingent on your opponent, like having a monster on their side of the field, whether it be like Cyber Dragon or obviously like the Kaijus, or you can just go for the full shebang, the Wing Dragon Roth Spear mode, and then you can turn that into a Ra. Now, Wing, Wing Dragon Roth Spear mode is searchable because of the amount of the Bound Creator, and you can pop this card and get that effect based on the uh, the Metaphos cards. Although, let me see. So we got eight scales and one scales. I guess we could Pendulum summon some of the Kaijus. I think this one right here, Kamungus is a level seven, if I'm not mistaken. Gamma Seal is, I, I know, an eight, but uh, you know, there is a one you know monster that we can actually Pendulum summon. I guess you could also Pendulum summon the cyber dragons i don't know if that's actually going to come up you see the spell lineup is pretty much just revolving around being able to get to like the tune or the tune cyber dragon and then also mound of the bound creator which gets you your spear mode interesting the mirror forces i guess that's because you don't really have any like real summons so if you don't have the ability to uh if you somehow don't draw any of these monsters and you can't break the extra link board i guess you got some mirror forces to potentially combat it that way and then you got metaphors counter because you do need something to put on the the board when you use the uh the metaphors cards blowing up your own mound of the bound creator so very interesting deck and uh yeah the uh, the extra deck is incredibly bare bones i mean mega fleet dragon is really the only thing you need but feel free to run whatever other just nonsense you want to run in here if you want to run any of the other like cyber dragons i mean is there a possibility yeah i guess you could because there could be a possibility of you like pendulum summoning a couple of these cyber dragons and then maybe you'd want to play infinity nova or cyber dragon seeger in that case so yeah you could probably throw in some more cyber dragon cards but eh, that's that's for the most part all i could really see you going into